This week on The Lowdown, let's talk about how the CFPB is being replaced. The CFPB was created as a result of the 2007-2008 financial crisis via the Dodd-Frank Act. They're an independent agency with regulatory control over banks and other financial institutions. Up until recently, they were a hardline agency that managed to return over $12 billion to consumers. So Richard Cordray was appointed by President Obama at the inception of the CFPB to be the director. Now he stepped down in 2017, at which point President Trump appointed interim director Mick Mulvaney, who walks in and with a snap of his fingers, it feels like half the CFPB just disappeared. Nate, I don't feel so good. Are you? Whoa. So Mick Mulvaney decided they were going to be a softer, kinder, gentler regulatory authority as far as the financial industries go. And we all thought maybe that might change, but Kathy Kreninger has basically said they're gonna do the exact same thing. At least publicly, we're not seeing the type of enforcement we were expecting from the CFPB. Now, all measures of enforcement have really kind of lightened up. Which reminds me, ah, Sawyer, you're back. Non-QM products are back on the market. With reduced public enforcement, why wouldn't they be? Kind of like this new tool I just picked up. It, it cuts just about everything. That kind of looks like it's meant just for cutting wood though, right? <laughs> no. Oh, hey, my package came. Hey, Sawyer, you want some salad? Dang it, this hay nail's killing me. I'll be right back. Okay, so maybe that saw wasn't right for everything. Kind of like how non-QM products may not be right for all borrowers. There's a certain time, place, and borrower that a non-QM product is good for. So where is the CFPB going? Well, as a result of current light enforcement, many of the states are actually taking matters into their own hands. And don't forget the statute of limitations for financial crimes is actually longer than the term of the current director. So just because something's not being taken care of right now doesn't mean the next administration won't do something about it. It's also worth noting that the New York DFS is gonna be launching their own mini CFPB. Here's their mission statement. They're saying that they will focus on protecting and educating consumers and fighting consumer fraud, as well as ensuring that regulated entities will comply with New York and federal law in relation to their activities serving the public. So the takeaway here is this. No matter what the federal regulatory body is doing, the states have the authority to regulate federal law as well. So don't just lighten up because you think the federal oversight has gone away. That's it. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. <laughs>